Hi guys, this is Mr. Bing. It is March 11th, 2021 at 8.40 a.m. This is First Block, uh, Introduction to Engineering Design. And I wanna explain how to take uh, your computer work, make a proper screenshot out of it, and uh, uh, put it into your CAM scan document uh, at the end after all of your uh, handwritten pages are scanned, uh, inserting the computer, the computer screenshots into that. So it's gonna take me two videos to make this happen. Uh, the first video is going to be what you do on the computer, and then the second video is going to be what you do on the phone. And so for right now, I want you to show you uh, Introduction to Engineering Design. This is your course page, and uh, when you do your, your work from the Project Leadway website, um, some of the work might look like this on Onshape, uh, computer work. And so if you're trying to do assignment 1.2.3, and uh, it looks like I've got four objects that I, that I created in that assignment. There's, there's probably more, but I have four for this example. Um, so I have these four objects and I need to make screenshots of them and, and send them to my phone somehow. And there's, there's, there's two ways, there's a million ways, but there's two ways that I wanna show you right now. One is my preferred way and the other is uh, a preferred way by some students. Uh, you're gonna pick which one you like. So uh, uh, first I'm gonna open up each of these that I've already done. And it looks like this one um, is some work that I did. Notice it's a multi-view drawing eventually after it swirls for you know, an hour. Um, it is a multi-view drawing. I'm not going to explain how to do this. That's other, other tutorials are for that, but I'm, I'm going to explain how you take a screenshot of this. Now I'm working on a PC, so on a Chromebook, you're gonna to have to figure out how to take the screenshot there. Most of us are going to be doing this work um, in class on the PC here, and, and I'm going to recommend you take the screenshot this way. And, and as I said before, there's a million ways to put this on your cam scan uh, on your phone. There's a million ways to take a screenshot as well. This is my preferred way. There's a snipping tool, and if you don't have that in your taskbar, you would go and search, right? You would search and you would type snip, and then the snipping tool app will, will appear and you will pin it to your taskbar. I'm not gonna do that because mine's already pinned. And then opening up the app itself, it says you can make a new scan. Now you get this cursor where you can take a partial scan, but I want a full corner to corner, what I call a proper scan. So I swing it all the way up there and swing it all the way down and it takes that screenshot. Uh, notice it has everything. It has uh, my task bar at the bottom. It has the time and date. It has all the tabs that I have open. So be careful about that if you know what I'm saying. And so the, the scan is made and I need to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. That's, that's where I prefer to put all my work on uh, the desktop. However, I don't wanna just throw it on the desktop just randomly. I do wanna create a new folder for this. The folder will be on the desktop and then I'll put the scans in that folder. And I'm going to call this folder IED 1.2.3 um, WBM, because that's my initials. I encourage you to do you know, a similar sort of uh, 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 nomenclature, so to speak. Um, I don't know if that's the appropriate word, but that is a word. And so I made that folder and in that folder, I'm gonna put this first scan and I think it was called IED 1.2.3 first part, maybe first part. Uh, I'm just naming that. I'm just naming it what I think makes sense. And so now that document is in that folder. Let me see if I can prove it. Uh, that document is in that folder. Um, double click and it'll open. Okay, there that document is in that folder. And then I want to make the other ones uh, going back to the main uh, page for Onshape. I just did the first part. I think this one was the second one. I do like to put them in order. Uh, so that they appear in your CAM scan document after all the pages from your notebook and then all the screenshots of the work that you did. Snipping tool, uh, new, uh, corner to corner for a proper screenshot. I'm gonna save it, save it to that folder that I just made and I'm not gonna name it first part. I'm gonna name it, I don't remember what I'm gonna name it, but I'm gonna remember, maybe second part, second part. That'll help me know and then WB on my initials. That'll help me know what order, you know, I wanna place them in in the CAM scan document back to on shape. I'm, uh, there's, there's four, at least in my example, there's four that I'm going to use to make screenshots of. And so here it is eventually, swirl, swirl. Okay, there it is, a multi-view, uh, good work. I, I hope you agree and take a screenshot of that. Take a new corner to corner for a proper screenshot. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it in that same folder that I've been making. I'm gonna call it the third part, a um, little bit clumsy, but whatever. And then I'm going to go back to Onshape, do this the fourth and final time, I'm hoping. Here's the green stair step. And uh, okay, swirl, swirl, there it is. And uh, what am I gonna do? Screenshot, take a screenshot, new, corner to corner for a proper screenshot. I'm gonna save it in that same folder uh, the, that I made. I'm gonna call it the fourth part or the green, green stair, stair step. Part if, if you want to be descriptive in that way. 
And so there I go. Um, what am I going to do now? I'm going to I'm going to close the, the snipping tool. I'm going back to the, uh, the 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 Schoology page. Okay, I don't know why I went there, but here's the on shape. I just took snaps of that, or uh, snips snips of that. And um, there there is there is a way to do, and I've been telling everybody to do it this way: to go to your to your school uh, your Google Drive and to create a new folder in your main drive, so it's easy to find. ID 1.2.3 WBM, and then create that. And then there is that folder I just created in the Google Drive. Let me swing that over. And then where was that other thing? Swing, swing. Okay, so here are the three files. Open, please. And then uh, let me do it this way. Um, okay, and then I'm going to take these three files and go right there. Wait for them to upload. Um, go here. It looks good. So now they are in that particular Google folder in your Google Drive. And you can access that on your phone, but you need Google Drive app on your phone to do that. And also I find that moving those files, even though I've told you to do this every day for a year, um, I find that moving those files from the Google Drive into CampScan on the phone is a little bit clumsy. So there's another way that students told me was their preferred way, which is not to put it in your Google Drive, but to email it to yourself. So compose a new email. I'm gonna email it to myself, which is that. And I, I don't know if I'm going to give it a title, not uh, IED 1.2.3, maybe. And then I'm not even going to write an email. I'm just going to what, make that stop, make that go away. I'm going to, okay, that's annoying uh, right there. All right. So let me see, where was it? Desktop. Uh, what was it? Uh, one, two, three, WB. There they are. There they are. Uh, open that. Wait. They looks like they're all good to go. Um, they, and I'm going to push send. And I just sent an email to myself. Look, it popped up there. So I'll look at that in just a moment. That's the end of this video. The, 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 the four parts of computer work that I did, I took a screenshot of each one. And now through those steps that you just saw, I sent an email of those parts and I can now look at the phone and uh, get those to get into CampScan. But this will be the end of part one and I'll come back for the for part two, I don't know, eventually someday, uh, maybe never. Okay, bye.